must be determined by a man. You can stay with me. I don't want to stay with you. Yeah, I, I have to train for my next esports tournament. You have been training for 27 years. Let's face it, you have no talent. I have nowhere to stay. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't touch it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Mr. Tan, where do you live? Uh... Morning class, today we'll be learning about working culture in Singapore. I hope you guys have done your income tax. Uh, we are all foreigners, so our tax income is about a flat rate 15%. Which is very good, because when I was working in Europe, the tax was around 40%. Uh, but I'm doing my PhD studies in the US, so my research scholarship is not subject to income tax. Got another scholarship? Yes. How? Uh, in fact, I got uh, six other offers from US and UK, but I prefer to study in Singapore because I like the food, uh, like mala xiang Uh Okay, no need to flex. Uh, Takashi, Matt, Machanti, what do you guys do? I'm a fashion designer. I started my fashion brand here with my local friend, Bonita. Hi! I am in the media industry. I am a CG artist. And I'm a marketing executive in a gaming company, but also a professional gamer. Huh. More like a wannabe professional gamer. Uh, looks like everybody works in a different industry here. If I remember correctly, uh, Krishnan, you're an aspiring artist. <laughs> and a part-time chef, and that's how I got my yes pass. And uh, Sergey, you work for a telco company? And a professional voice actor. Why are you so surprised? Uh, not to be rude, but we just think your accent is a little bit thicker compared to ours. Yeah, I also think so. Look, just because I speak like this, doesn't mean I can't speak like I'm a person from other countries. Okay? Voice acting is an art, and I'm the master. That was very impressive, Sergey. Well, that was fantastic. So you do the voiceovers for the English shows? Nah, I voice over a Russian animation show for children. Oh. oh. All right, uh, how do you guys find working here in Singapore? Any complaints? Hi! The working hours are a little short. In Japan, we would only leave the office after the boss leave. In fact, we sometimes sleep in the office. Uh, it's very competitive for me because there's only a certain amount of foreigners that each company can hire due to quotas and everyone wants to come to Singapore. I have no complaints except that back at home colleagues are like friends whom I can hang out with very often. But in Singapore people don't want to join me for drinks after work, especially the ladies. I wonder why. Anyway, the government is quite supportive of startup companies like mine, so I have no complaints. Ooh, beautiful and successful. How attractive can you be? No thanks. And assertive. Last warning. And dangerous. Oh my goodness. Uh, and if you talk like this to your co-workers, I'm pretty sure you'll be sued for sexual harassment, uh, Oleg. Anyway, it's good to hear about your perspectives about working culture here. Mr. Tan, may I ask you a question? Yeah. Thank you. Um, how long have you been doing this current job? 10 years. Wow, that's a long time. Have you ever thought of switching jobs and doing something else? Um... Do you feel stuck in the same position with limited opportunity for career development? Do you feel the pressure of the rising cost of living? As a local Singaporean, do you feel insecure about the competitiveness of the number of expats in Singapore? And have you thought about upskilling since you don't have any other skills? Uh, wow! It is 6 o'clock, so I think uh, that's all for class. Next time, then uh, maybe I will address your other questions. Um, uh, yeah, bye. By the way, uh, Ling Ling, what do you study? Uh? Oh, I'm doing social science uh, because I aspire to be a cultural educator like you. So, you still want to take my job? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Why? What's so funny? Uh? Oh, I thought you were joking. Mr. Tan, I have a PhD degree. If I take your job, uh, I will be your boss. Uh, or your boss's boss. Uh. 